doing the brakes on the 78 Jeep. And the front ones were good. The back ones, the wheel cylinders broke, stuck. So we are in the process of taking them off, replacing them with brand new ones. Uh, a lot of issues going on. Couldn't get the brake lines out, so we had to take them out of the splitter. And we're just gonna remake everything new. You can see there's the old line that came out. And we're in a process now of uh, custom making our new ones to put everything back on. The new ones did not come with the little, these parts right here. So we're gonna have to clean these up with the wire wheel, and reuse them. So that's as far as we've gotten so far. I got the other side tied down now. You gotta put the springs on. We're running the lines, getting it secure so we can put it over here and on that side. And then we start bleeding the back brakes, and as soon as we have pressure, we are good to go for our test drive. Now that everything's on, we find that our portioning valve might be bad. We're trying to hit the brakes, fluid's coming out, our wheel cylinders are not activating, so it's not getting enough pressure. So it's either the master cylinder is bad, or the uh, proportioning valve is bad. So I'm going to pull the proportioning valve off first, to see if, if there's any issues with it. Most likely it's going to be the problem. But, it is what it is. Working with old things, that's what I'm going to take off next. Alright, we got the portioning valve off, I got it all tore apart, cleaned everything up, got all the ports cleaned up, got the spring working again. We're going to try to reassemble it and reuse it and see if we have any pressure. Um, that should save us 75 bucks from buying a new one. If it still don't work, then we'll just go ahead and buy a new one. Alright, with the proportioning valve back on, all cleaned up. Spring cleaned and compresses now, all the dirt's out of it. We're going to try to put new fluid in it, bleed the brakes, and see if we start getting pressure on the back brakes. And we always had pressure up front, but we didn't have any in the back. So if that doesn't do it, either we're going to be buying a new one or looking at a master cylinder. One of the two. So one thing I have to do is get this uh, brake line proportioning tool thing that goes in where your uh, brake line indicator is for your dash it goes in and that, that allowed enough pressure to go to the back brakes where before I wasn't getting enough pressure back there I was getting fluid but not pressure so with that in I was able to do everything I needed to do and now all four brakes have been bled are on and this thing is ready to rock and roll so let me replace this put this thing back in and uh, I'll give this thing my first test drive all right here we go got all four wheels on the ground hopefully I can get out of here
extra good, so give it up here with my arm.